another policy uh, which may be um, uh, uh, promulgated by employers is the anti-nepotism policy. Policy. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> what is an anti-nepotism policy? Well, this is a policy which prohibits spouses from working for the same company. Now, is a no uh, 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 anti-nepotism employment policy valid? Well, it may or may not be valid. So how do we determine whether the anti-nepotism policy is valid? Well, we apply the reasonable business necessity rule, which means that the employer must prove that the policy is founded upon business necessity and not just uh, uh, on the uh, perception that the spouses in the same workplace might affect uh, adversely the business. The employer must show how the marriage could be detrimental to the business and not just on the fear that employees marriage to each other will be less efficient. In the Star Paper Corporation case, uh, involved were two ordinary rack and file employees. Uh, one is a machine operator uh, and the other is a repacker. So they married each other. Now, uh, after their marriage, the employer told them that one of them should resign or so on to the company policy. So the um, uh, employees challenged the validity of the uh, policy. So the issue there in, that, in this specific case is uh, uh, whether the policy of Star Paper Corporation prohibiting spouses from working in the same company is a valid exercise of managerial prerogative. And the Supreme Court ruled that, uh, that the uh, validity should be uh, looked from the business, uh, from the reasonable business necessity rule. Now, the employer here in this case failed to prove that, the, the, uh, that there was a reasonable business necessity for the policy as applied to these two employees who are um, mere rank and file uh, workers. So the, in this case, the uh, Star Paper Corporation failed to prove uh, or failed to show how the, the marriage uh, could be detrimental to its business. 